Why Evolution Does Not Work, Natural Selection, Part 2. Natural Law. In naturalistic evolution, natural selection is presented as a kind of natural law that operates to create the biosphere. Does natural selection have the ability to create the entire biosphere? The answer is no. There are a variety of ways in which natural selection has been falsified as a sufficient cause for naturalistic evolution. At any level above microevolution, see below. We presented points 1 to 3 in a previous video. We continue with points 4 onwards in this video. 4. Genetic Deaths, 10,000 Population For a 10,000 member population, for natural selection to substitute one beneficial nucleotide mutation across the population, would require 90,000 genetic deaths for a dominant gene and 200 million deaths for a recessive gene. This is far too high for any complex species to pay. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. Given 500 orphan genes per distinct orphan genetic species, 1000 nt length per gene, 30% specificity, that is 150,000 functional specific nts. So, to create a new orphan genetic species, it would require 7 billion deaths for dominant genes and 15 trillion deaths for recessive genes. These numbers are far too high for any higher complex species, higher than bacteria to insects, to pay. So, this falsifies natural selection for formation of any of the higher complex species. 5. Stasis. For large populations of creatures with longer reproductive times, the cost of selection is too high for any significant evolutionary changes. So, such populations show no indications of constructive evolution by natural selection. The best that natural selection can do is to stabilize the species to maintain stasis. 6. Mutation Swamp Selection. Harmful mutations are 1,000 to 1 million times more numerous than allegedly beneficial mutations. Most of the harmful mutations are invisible to natural selection. As a result, the harmful mutations collect in the genome and are carried down through the generations for more complex species. This genetic load causes mutational degradation and error catastrophe leading to extinction of the species over time. The fossil record confirms an average species lifetime of 1 million years for complex vertebrates such as mammals. So, in the absence of intelligent design bioinformation infusion, the trajectory of evolution is destructive and not constructive for higher species with lower reproductive rates that are more complex than bacteria to insects. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution. 7. Average Substitution The atheist geneticist and mathematician J.B.S. Haldane calculated that natural selection needs 300 generations to substitute one nucleotide base pair across a typical animal population. That means it takes 6,000 years for one NT substitution in the human lineage. So, with a 3.3 times 10 to the 9 human genome and 1% functional DNA, protein coding and gene regulatory network instructions, it would take 3.3 times 10 to the 7 times 6 times 10 to the 3 years, i.e., 2 times 10 to the 11 years for natural selection to substitute the alleged 1% functional portion of the human genome. That is 200 billion years, vastly more than the age of the universe. This falsifies naturalistic evolution of humans. 8. Human Evolution If we consider chimp-human differences of 40 million NTs, and equidistance from the last common ancestor, that would take 2 e 7 times 6 times 10 to the 3 years, i.e., 1 times 10 to the 11 year for natural selection to substitute the human distinctive NTs from the chimp-human ancestor. That is 100 billion years, vastly more than the maximum of 7 million years permitted by evolutionary biologists, and vastly more than the age of the universe. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution of humans from an alleged chimp-human common ancestor. 9. Human Evolution Scientific literature indicates that humans have 634 orphan genes, with no detectable homologs in chimps. This is 7E5 nucleotide base pairs, that would take 7E5 times 6 times 10 to the 3 years, i.e., 4 times 10 to the 10 years for natural selection to substitute the human distinctive NTs from the chimp human ancestor. That is 40 billion years, vastly more than the maximum of 7 million years permitted by evolutionary biologists, and vastly more than the age of the universe. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution of humans from an alleged chimp human common ancestor. 10. Taxonomic evolution. The scientific literature indicates that 10 to 30 percent of genes are orphan genes in most species, genera and families, with taxa-specific orphan genes needed to create the distinguishing features of the higher taxa, order, class, phylum, kingdom. Similar reasoning, as above, 
show that there is not enough time in the entire history of the universe for natural selection to substitute, and fix, all of the needed NT pairs for those orphan genes. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution of the various higher taxa. 11. The empirically calibrated reasoning, presented above, falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution when applied to any lineage of primates, or any of the higher more complex species, for instance. Conclusion. Based on the above, what evolution does happen, is destructive evolution, increasing genetic load, for higher species, or stasis, for bacteria up to insects with high reproductive rates and large populations. Any evolution that occurs, is completely minor. Adaptation of species to an environment within the limits of a genus or family. This falsifies constructive naturalistic evolution, to create completely new phyla and new body plans. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.